Joe says no, but he said yes to this interview. Let me get that one out of the way. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for season two of Between Two Posts, presented by Coca-Cola. I am Dan Lovitz, here with Joe Willis. Welcome. I just realized it's weird. Uh, this is, I'm like welcoming you. This is my home. This, this is, my, is your home. This is your office. Yeah, this is my home away from home. So welcome to you to my home. <laughs> we can switch roles. Tell me what inspired your mustache choice? It's a great question. Um, is there an individual? Is it a lifestyle choice? A little bit of both, actually. Okay, uh, excellent. I was, uh, my wife was about eight months pregnant at the time. That's usually when that decision happens. Yeah. For so most people. I knew that, um, you know, I was soon to be a father and, and I felt like I needed to really tap into the full potential. I didn't mean to, I'm not infringing on your fatherliness, but it's okay. like middle school, high school me is like doing push ups and flexing in the mirror, proud. Yeah. Actually, I still do that, but like <laughs> very proud that like this is happening right now. I have this ability. Are all goalies weird? If so, why? Are you weird? I will say yes. I, I think it comes with the territory. You spend a lot of time just standing there by yourself. Yes. Isolated from other people. Yes. Isolation's and, very, very good way to characterize it. You know, you can only like sing the same song in your head a certain amount of times before you start getting some weird thoughts. Exactly. So. So my, my next question off of that is, when the defense is playing sick, which you guys so hopefully, often do. Hopefully, that's the case. Is there like a go-to daydream or song for you? It's all kids songs now. What are some of the favorites? My wife, <laughs> my wife takes the baby uh, to some music classes. Okay. And they have like a whole playlist. And we listen to that on repeat at the house right now. What is your favorite part of being a dad that surprised you the most so far? Aside from the mustache. Not to get too sappy and emotional, Sap but- Sap it up, baby. Just seeing like the little changes every day um, and watching her grow and, and seeing her do new things and like- She's not cursing at you yet, so you're fine. Not yet, yeah, okay. not yet, right. so- That's usually month nine, right? Yeah, I think okay. so, I think so. She said mama and dada, and, That's and I definitely was, was tearing up a bit first time she said dada, so. Yeah, so that sort of growth and progression, have you, is that sort of similar to what we've experienced with Jack over the, you know, last two, two and a half, two and one third years? No. No, not, I don't not, think so. Not at all. I don't think so. Jack might be the first ever um, rookie three years in a row. Yeah. He, he hasn't shed that he rookie He wore the hat status. and he liked the hat so much yeah. that he has kept it on. Yeah. I, I am seeing like a little bit more facial hair out he's, of him. He's giving it a shot, not like this. No. Talk to me about how you became a goalie. Was it like, were you always a goalie or did somebody, you just got to a point and they were like, hey man. You're pretty you're big. You're kind of big. <laughs> you're not as fast as the other kids, but you can kick the hell out of the ball. We have an idea for you. Here's some gloves. Is that what happens? Pretty much, yeah. Did, was it like a tough day or? No, not really. Okay. I liked it from the start. Like I dabbled in it a little bit, you know, at a young age. You know, I, I just I loved it. I loved, you know, diving around and I loved not running. That's probably my least favorite not part of Not running is like the most logical thing. All the other things in my perspective seem miserable. Yeah. Like when we feel bad on a day, we're like, ah, gotta run around and like kick the ball. And then we look over and see you guys like doing somersaults and diving everywhere. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, there's definitely some trade-offs, um, but I think that just speaks to how much I hate running, yeah. that I would rather uh, take a ball to the face at 50 miles per hour from five yards away than have to run the beep test again. You've recently been kicked in the face. This is true. You've recovered miraculously. Thank you, thank you. Sir. A lot of people have not had the privilege or the experience of being kicked in the face. Yeah. Would you like to talk about what that's like a little bit? Yeah, it's a really exciting uh, moment in one's life. You got you know, glued, right? So, yeah, yeah. So uh, one second you're you're looking up, trying to catch a ball, and then you turn and um, you get the underside of someone's boot. Was it friendly fire? 
No, it was, uh, there was nothing friendly about it. It was very malicious. The, I had the pleasure last year at Red Bull. I got kicked in the face by a gentleman whose name I can't pronounce. And now I hide it with this beautiful piece of facial hair. It's like looking in a mirror. It's, it's uncanny. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with the goalie theme because... Because that's what I am. That's what and you that's are, and there's about. only like two or three on each team. And they're like unicorns. You gotta, you gotta study them. So while you're here, we gotta peel your onion a bit. Yeah. Um, do you think goalies get enough respect? At times, goalies get, don't get enough respect. And I would say at times, goalies get too much respect. And yeah. what is the mediating variable in that? Hairstyle. Hairstyle's a big part of it, for Tell sure. It's hairstyle. For sure. Uh, I mean, take me for example. Nobody knew who I was until I grew the mustache. That's and exactly now, right, people don't know that. I mean, my face is on billboards. To that know. effect. People didn't know who Walker was until he did the hair thing. Exactly. And now, remember we had the open training? I thought like Fabio or Ryan Gosling walked in the yeah. stadium and I look, turn over and he's just flipping his hair without the tie on it. He's yeah. doing hair stuff. It, it's, there is a correlation there. Hair makes you in the big time, gets you all the stuff. What is the weirdest place you've ever had your gloves on? A furniture store. Was it, it was, a commercial? It, no, it was the weirdest appearance I've ever done. Uh, what team? It was with Houston. Naturally. I don't know that they like advertised it or promoted it at all. No fans really showed up. I think maybe one or two who knew about it showed up. Other than that, it was like people just shopping for furniture and they would like stop by the booth and be like, oh yeah, this is a nice table. Like how much is this? I have tried on gloves before and I haven't been able to get rid of the smell. How do you deal with that? The, the smell of the gloves is by far like my least favorite part about being a goalkeeper. Do you throw out a new pair of gloves because of smell or because of like functionally they're tearing? Functionally if they're tearing. You've never thrown one out because they smell too bad? I mean, if, they're, if the grip is still good enough, I'll deal with it. The issue is you don't want to dry them out too much. So like you kind of have to let the sweat simmer in there. You can wash them, but that it's only like we're does cooking so much. steak right now. Yeah, it's it's pretty gross. <laughs> it smells hard. <laughs> it is like the most haunting smell I think I've come across. I literally have to wash my hands like two to three times after I shower after practice just to get the smell off of them. What is your favorite moment so far with Nashville? Just because it's fresh on the mind, opening the stadium yeah. was incredible. That's when, totally fair. When we, when Randall scored the goal and, and the crowd just erupted, it was like, gave me goosebumps. It's a feeling that like, you don't, I, I don't really get, you know, anywhere else. It's just like a rush of adrenaline. You don't, you don't do that kind of thing other places? Like, <laughs> really? When I'm at the park, uh, you know, with the, with the baby, sometimes I get it, but. People say that you have the look of someone that hasn't missed a Dave Matthews Band concert in eight years, or someone that's like a consistent contributor to a subreddit called If I Were a Pizza Guy. Which one is like more likely to be true? I think I would have a lot of fun on that, on that Reddit. Um, yeah. But I would say the other one's probably more accurate. Big DMB guy. Not really, <laughs> but but I did go to a Dave Matthews Band That'll concert do it. like four, That'll do four it. years ago. That's I knew it was there. Yeah. I knew it was there. All right, this has been the premiere of season two of Between Two Posts with Joe Willis here. Thank you, Joe, for joining me. Presented by Coca-Cola. Would you like to say anything to all the people out there watching? No, it's just been a real pleasure to be here. Um, you know, this is my home away from home, and I'm glad to rent it out to you whenever you need it. So it is uh, right. just a real, real pleasure to, to be on the show today. And the mustache looks fantastic. Thank you. Get that in there. <laughs>